What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. I want to thank you guys so much for coming hang out with me today. If you liked the video, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, guys, we're here today on the mini account. We've got some stuff to do. We've got a new guild boss to fight. Can't wait to jump in there and hopefully do pretty well. And we've also got the Aspen Dungeon back. So I'm going to try to go in there and redeem myself from what was... Probably the most embarrassing fail of my life earlier. Um, so we're going to try to make that happen. But before we jump into any of that, we have a new patron on the channel. And it's been a minute. It's been a while since we had a new patron. But today's patron is Jacob Shackelford. And I'm like 99.78% sure that I've got that one right. A, my name's also Jacob. So I, I, I pretty much got that one locked down. Last name, it seems, it seems like it's English. So... I feel like I feel pretty confident. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for your support for the channel. It means a lot to me. I very, very much appreciate it. Thank you for helping keep the YouTube dream alive. And with that said, it's time to jump in and do some stuff. So, with the recent changes to the game, we've got a little bit more HP on our horse. And apparently, see, I didn't really, I don't do a lot of number crunching on things like block and whatnot. It's, it's not my jam. I don't like, like, nerding out on details all the time. Um, so I didn't really know how block worked before. Apparently it was only like an 8% damage reduction, like up to 17% or something weird like that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't jump in the numbers and whatnot. Um, but apparently the new block formula actually blocks damage like after all the damage has come in. So it's like a, a straight up like 30 something percent reduction of damage. So it's stronger. Apparently that's what I'm hearing. I don't really know. Um, but I, I'll take the words of the people that, that crunch numbers because I'm not going to do that. Um, so anyways... What we do have is I'm going to run, um, I'm going to swap that back over to Vitality just because I want to have as much HP as possible for my resilience to proc as high as possible. And it's one thing I really think the devs need to address is this right here. Such a joke. Literally, like, if you're talking about E3 is the big upgrade, that's like the last one. Resilience is a huge deal. It's super strong. It's super great. Everyone uses it for a reason. This new uh, enable right here is an absolute joke. Like, it's super duper weak. It doesn't do anything for you, really. It's it's not worth using. Like, it needs a massive buff to be even mildly useful. So, eh. We're going to obviously stick with resilience. The first three are actually a pretty solid choice. Um, it gives you a lot of HP, resistance to crit damage, and it gives my Horus here 4.9 million HP. What I did also to change my Horus is I swapped my stone back to a block HP stone so that during the Aspen Dungeon runs, I would have over 100% block, which means I'm not going to get shafted having 85% block and having some attacks get through and hurt me a little bit more. Hopefully that's going to be enough um, to A, keep my sustain up from blocking people, but also, you know, just not die to things like Dantalion, <laughs> because that was sad. Uh, hopefully we weren't running any, like, super Healy nodes, because... I don't know how well I'm going to do against it. Cthulhu won't work in that area. And I don't know if Horus will have enough burst damage to actually break through him. We'll see. Um, before we jump into doing that, let's do a guild boss fight. So we've got the new guild boss up. It's old daddy Moog. Got to watch out for this guy. Um, He does a lot of damage because he stacks his skill damage up and he just keeps casting skill attacks over and over again, which is really, 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 really frustrating. Um, I've heard a couple of different methods of how you attack this guy. Some people say... Just don't use enough heroes to give him an active skill on round one so they won't just chain skills. The thing is, as soon as one of them does cast a skill, so by round two, they will chain skills for the rest of the battle. Pretty much that's how it works. So, eh, I think we're going to run with the aura just to keep our HP maxed out. Um, wait a minute, let's, let's run Horus in slot one here. Just because I think Dasmog's basic attack does hit the front line people. Or the, uh, at least the guy in the front slot. So that would be ideal, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's jump in. See how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, run time speed. We might need it on one time speed because it might go over really quickly. Um, so he's got the active skill on round one, which means, yeah. Okay. So Horus's block seems like it's doing pretty decent. Um, but as you can see, they just keep chaining skills. This is how the battles go. Um, how Are we blocking any of these? Okay, we blocked that. We didn't block that one, though. Ugh. Only 21 million damage, so not super fantastic though. Let's try it again, and let's knock out enough units like this is useless. She gets, like, one attack in. Um, we'll just keep it like this. Just the three warriors. Just set up. I lied. Cthulhu's a ranger. Um, but anyways, three people shouldn't give them an active skill on round one, and hopefully that'll be enough. I don't know. 
perhaps to make a difference. We'll see. Like I said, it's all about testing. If it does really bad, then we'll just throw the aura back on there. It's not a huge deal. We'll have a couple of days. So they got no active skills on round one, which is nice. That makes a, a nice, nice difference. Um, so let's see. Okay, so they're gonna know that he'll get his skill back, won't he? He will. Dang it. Dang it and balls. Okay, so eh. damage difference, not much. I mean, about the same. We'll try it one more time. And this time, I guess we'll just we'll throw the aura back in there for the sake of throwing an aura. Maybe we got a low hit first time. Maybe we got a low hit second time. I don't know. We're just gonna figure it out. So let's see. Let us see what happens. Let us. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just go. Let's just see what happens. So Okay, he's is he not blocking every time here? Because he should have like 120% block. He's blocked most of those. That bleeds what really hurts too. Okay, so 13 million? Ugh, that was disgusting. He must not be blocking very much. It seems like he absolutely is not. Because I mean, one round of blocks is 6 million damage, and they had three rounds of attacks on me. So, even with 120% block, I feel like they've buffed the precision. Dasmog doesn't have any native precision, I don't believe. Um, let's go check it out real quick, like, just to be sure. I don't want to say something that's not true. Because then everybody reams my butt, they're like, Wrath, what's crap, you didn't know? No. Um, let's take a look here, skill damage. No. No innate precision on old daddy Moog. Just a regular old daddy Moog. So, I mean, did they adjust that as well? I mean, I know they said they adjusted the precision of units in the Tower of Oblivion, um, but it would seem like these guys got quite the buff to precision too, because at 120% block, you'd need at least 20% precision, at least the way I understand it, to get back to 100% block. So these guys are rocking, I would say, quite a bit more than that, which is not ideal. Um, let's try it again. 13% was really low. Let's just, let's go back to the old three-man rush and see how this works. Go at two times speed because watching it super slow, not super fun. Um, but keeping them from dropping that active skill on round one, maybe that's enough to get my damage up a little bit. I don't know. Man, I don't know. 21 million. So it seems like three-man, I mean, the first time we ran the R it, we got 21 million. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a little bit weird RNG on the blocks, perhaps. Um, but yeah, they, that was pretty rough. That was pretty rough damage. So we didn't do super great. We're at top five. Ugh. Ugh. Nasty. Um, meh. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not it's not the best we've ever done. I don't know. Still on the fence on whether the aura or just three people is better there. We'll see. We'll test it out some more. But that was just part of what I wanted to do today. What I really wanted to do is I want to redeem myself in the Aspen Dungeon. So if we don't, I'll be very sad. <laughs> I'll be quite a sad man. So let's jump in here and hopefully, hopefully things go better this time. Because they went very poorly to put it lightly on the last time we came in here so let's jump in we also need this oh i need promotion stones like nobody's business and hopefully we've got some in here how oh, we do i'm gonna snag out some wait a minute is that a thousand it's 500 for 1.2 million gold That's 500 for a million gold. The Aspen Dungeon is screwing me. Come on, Aspen. You can't be doing me that way. How much do we have? 16,000? Uh, to make an E2, we're going to need a lot. We can sacrifice a little bit of gold. It's not a huge deal. Um, we'll go through and buy it anyway. Um, anything else for gold that we need up in here? Na, na, na. Not really. I'll buy it. I know it's overpriced, but, you know, whatever. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to get your stuff. No casino chips um, for gold. There we go. There's some. Uh, there's some more. That's 20 more. Not bad. Not bad. And then what do we got up here in the Big Daddy market? Um, we'll take those, of course. I guess we'll take those, too. Nothing super great in the Big Daddy merchant, so mm, whatevs. I'm pretty sure Faceless is not going to be an issue. So we'll just go ahead and next the ones I don't think will be a challenge at all. And the ones that I do think will be a challenge, we'll watch. So this is one Karim. Shouldn't be a problem. Should be no big thing. But, oh, man, a Vessa. Four Vessas. Now, this, this might be a thing, because I believe Vessa gets an innate buff to uh, Precision, because she has the class advantage of Forest over Shadow. Oh, this might be another bad day. This might be a bad day, peeps. We're going to drop a Demon Potion, because 
I ain't screwing with it, and it might not help anyway, but we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see what he does with an active skill here on run round, or, uh, ooh, round one, I said. Eh, they're not doing a lot of damage. The question is, can we kill them? And we got one down. So it seems like we can. And I would say by round two, it'll probably be easier with less Vess's healing. Um, we probably, oh, we got another one down. Not bad. There, his attack keeps going up the longer the battle goes, so as long as I can stall him out, oh, man, that 15% um, HP is not a big deal against these people. The crits are nice. If I could get more crits, that would be ideal. I think we've got it. I would assume we could take him down now. Yeah, okay. We can still kill Vesses this early in Nightmare, but they're definitely going to be a problem. Um, four Blood Blades... We know how to take that down. We use Cthulhu for that because Cthulhu is the man. When it comes to Blood Blade, we'll grab that too. Give me those promotion stones. I need them. All right. Click it. Four Karims. Hmm. Use a couple potions here to be safe on things. I don't think four Karims are going to be a big issue, but I'll watch it and see how they do just in case I think I might need to watch out for them later. Me. Not doing a lot of damage. Now. These guys are not really a problem, so that's good news. Karims, easy win. Like I said, I haven't done a lot of Aspen and Nightmare with Horus. I've only done like three rounds so far, and one round did not last long. So I'm still kind of trying to learn what he's really good against and what he's weak against. Ooh, single Dantalion. On this one, I think we're going to go with the uh, healed Cthulhu, because Cthulhu cannot be burned, which means hopefully he'll be able to kill Dantalion. If not, I don't think Dantalion will be able to kill him. Um... Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee that. He's looking like he's doing some decent damage to old Cthulhu, though. Uh, we might have made a booger. Oh, Cthulhu, why do you always let me down when I need you? You're like, hey, just don't die by round 15, please. Oh my god, you suck. I hate you. Cthulhu is butt. Cthulhu absolute buttholio. <sighs> I need my Cthulhu to be E3. With no resilience, Cthulhu is just... He's not that strong. He's good against Blood Blades. But apparently Dantalion is just a god among men and cannot be defeated. <sighs> is this going to happen twice? Is Dantalion going to ruin my day in more than one Aspen? He better not. That's all I got to say is, oh my god. Die. Just die. <sighs> not good. <laughs> not looking good for old Rathy. Um, Single Walter will drop some potion to be a little bit safer, but I can't be stunned, so that shouldn't be an issue. We shouldn't get crowd controlled at all. Um, there we go, a little bit of... Is he not blocking all the time? Hmm. Hmm. Berea's gonna be a problem. I can tell Berea's gonna suck. Go ahead and get you maxed out. Um, I gotta make sure this guy's actually blocking every time he's getting hit. 600,000, okay, so he is blocking. All right. It's just not a huge amount of damage on his block. We took, that wasn't too bad. I mean, oh, great, is this Dantalion? No, it's just Gru. I think we should be fine against just Gru. But do I want to heal first? Why not? Why not do it just because you never know. It might be, he's not, I don't think he's going to be able to kill him. I don't think we needed to potion there, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. He is going to knock his crit down, his attack down a little bit, though, so that'd be a little annoying. But nah. It seems like Gru's mainly a problem when he's paired with something like Dantalion, who just apparently is just OP now. Definitely OP against Horus, that's for sure. Nah, I don't think we need a potion on these guys. Let's, let's be real. Alright, they're gray eyes, Gray claws, whatever. They're something. No, they're not a problem. That's easy enough, that wasn't too bad. I figured we could handle it. Gru, four Grus. Well, that's a little interesting. We won't potion. We're not going to potion. We'll play it a little risky. I don't think they'll do enough. Um, I wouldn't assume. No, they're not going to kill me. If they do, I'm going to be quite dissatisfied with my horse's performance. I'll just say that. Um, yeah, they're going down. They're going down ever so quickly. They heal too, don't they? Yes, they do. They're level 10s. 10 stars, I said. Eh, they're not a problem. It's just Dantalion that's my big issue. Um, Dark Arthur, I don't think she has enough damage to kill. 
So we'll just smash through that a little bit. Oh, we actually healed on that one. Good stuff. Um, Karim, we know Karim's kind of weak. Shouldn't be a problem. Hey, we've already beat last time's record. It's night Nightmare 14 and we got wrecked and I was very sad about it. But we're doing better today. Today we're doing better. Lutz, obviously not really an issue. Bleaker can't be stunned, so that's going to be a joke. Um, plus, I think I have type advantage on bleakers too, so that's going to be easy. Are you just Dark Arth at all? You're just Dark Arth at all. Not a prob. Not a prob. Not enough damage from her. So, not to be scared. Mainly worried about... Oh, no, and... Uh, we threw our stinking Cthulhu away earlier. Oh, bollocks. What we're going to do is we're going to drop a demon potion here. And we're hopefully, hopefully going to watch the Horus just surprise me. Just surprise the pants off of me by pooping on some blood blade action. Whoa. Okay. Demon potion required. But he did. He took him down. So go horse. We got four more of those. Um, oh, man. We got uh, class advantage against ice blinks. But even though we have no angel potions. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks a lot for the lack of angel potions. I'm probably going to need those later. I want to be at full health here just to be sure. But I don't think ice blinks going to be a big problem. He does freeze. Um, and I don't have any immunity to freeze like that, and they do extra damage when they're frozen, but, I don't know, no, not a problem, just wanted to be sure, you gotta be sure, if you haven't done it before, you need to be sure, Asmos have some nasty burst damage, so we'll just, we'll buff it up a little bit, um, even though Block should be stronger now, you know, winky winky should be, um, we'll see, but, yeah, I don't think these guys will kill me, but I could be wrong, if they stack up a lot of marks, that's where it gets dangerous, like, yeah, yeah. as long as they trigger their crits pretty often, it's not a big deal. But if they stack them and stack them and stack them and don't get crits, and then all of a sudden they get one. Ooh, a demon potion. That's what I'm talking about, game. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Just one Karim shouldn't be an issue. Uh, but yeah, if they stack those marks up a bunch and then they get a crit, um, it can do some really nasty damage. Field, not going to be a problem. You can't stun me. I'm unstunnable. So get out of here. Get out of here with that weak crap. Bade. Bade. Mmm. 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 Gonna drop a potion on Bade just to be sure. Cause you never know. Bade's he's one of those guys, especially I remember with Vessa, is sometimes Bade would one shot her, and you'd be like, Are you serious right now? Um, but once he falls below half health, he does get a ugh. Yeah, a big amount of damage boost. So people laugh at Bade, like, oh Bade sucks. And for the most part, yes. But can Bade also be a troll? Yes, yes he can. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pop a couple potions in here. I don't think he'll be able to take more than half health. Play it risky. Let's risk it. Risk the biscuit. As long as I don't get frozen, I'm literally in zero chance of you know dying. But if I do get frozen, maybe he might. I don't know. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty easy. Probably didn't need the potions, but better to be safe than to be sorry. Trust me, as someone who's been sorry many times in the Aspen Dungeon, I can definitely. Definitely agree with that. So we're going to go again. We know he's not going to kill us. Get wrecked on. Field. We know field's not a problem. I don't think any wave that has field in it's going to be a problem for me. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't know about this one. I'm going to go demon potion because scary steals attack. Um, when he does his basic attack on me, so I don't want to drop my active skill when my my attack's been already drained because it wouldn't do much. I'd rather drop it early and have it do more. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, one down. Are you serious? I said no notifications. The game obviously doesn't believe me. Whatever, not a big deal. Any hoodles? That was really easy. It looked like it didn't really take hardly any damage there. So that wasn't that bad. Maybe I didn't need a demon potion after all, but I wanted to be sure. Gotta be sure. Mickey shouldn't be an issue, but I kind of want to watch the battle. Does she remove block? No. No, that's not it. I'm thinking karma. I don't know why I was thinking karma. Um, yeah. That's not an issue. Mickey, no problem. No problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Level 340 Vessas. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Last time we fought them, they didn't really hurt me too bad. 
but it did take me two waves to kill him. Let's watch and see. All right. As long as I can kill, like, one, I'll probably be okay. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. They're getting me kind of low in HP, but as long as I keep building attack, and I think it's crit damage, I might be able to nuke one of them down. And that's kind of what I'm banking on. I gotta get a one-shot in here somewhere. There we go. One's down. That's good. That's good. One single Vesa might be impossible for Horus to kill. Because with four of them, they're, they're naturally weaker, but I also get four different rounds of skill attacks to boost my Horus. Um, we should be able to take it down now. Yes. Um, but when you fight a single Vesa, like it's just one Vesa in that node, you won't get all the different skill attacks to keep buffing Horus up, so I might not be able to take that down without, like, I don't know, double demon potion or something. Single Mickey, we know that's not an issue. Get out of here, Mickey. Get out of here, Mickey. You're weak. You're weak, sauce. We all know about that. Michelle? Ooh. Ooh. We can't be stunned. So... Michelle won't be a huge deal, I don't think. She doesn't have enough damage. It's mainly going to be, can we out-damage the heals? Let's see. I don't even remember this wave in Nightmare. Has this been a Nightmare wave forever? I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in Nightmare. I've been in Hell on the main for a while, so I kind of forget things. Um, okay, we got one of the healers down. Gurky's holy damage might be a little annoying. Bess is down. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. We got this. I think. Killer. Yeah, good job. Good job, Horus. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Still pretty worried about a single Vesa node. Oh, no. Oh, single Blood Blade? Ooh, I don't know. We've already got a potion, or uh, not a potion. We've already got a full active skill, so let's just heal up here. And let's see how a single Blood Blade does me. Good God, man. Oh, you... Oh. oh, really? Real? Did you see that sneeze of health he had left? I could have farted and killed that guy. <laughs> and now he's got a bunch more because he killed me. You know what, Bloodblade? I hate you. I hate you and everything you stand for. You know what we're going to do? We're going all in. We're going crazy skill damage. Massive boost Aspen. And we're going to destroy this guy. We're going all in. We're going, because after this, we have, if Bloodblade goes first, we still might not have anything. But maybe. Yeah, suck it, nerd. Get wrecked on. Mmm, sweet justice. Sweet, sweet justice. And now we've got a hot grew Dantalian action. Of course, we know how this is going to go. Uh, uh, I'm not afraid. Fear no man. Just kidding. <laughs> he fears lots of people. He's only a nine star, okay? Take it easy. How'd we do? We still didn't beat our old record. I don't even know. I don't even know what the crap's going on here. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. What happened is we was dumb, and we went ahead and threw Cthulhu up against that Dantalion, and because Cthulhu sucks one, and managed to die against a single Dantalion, because he's a joke, it really threw us off. Because if we had Dantalion, those Bloodblade waves would have been no joke. Could have just smashed through them. They'd been, well, I mean, they would have been a joke. Could have popped him in there. They wouldn't have done anything. He would have smoked on them. It'd been nice. But because we threw away our Cthulhu early, we lost. We, ah, still not Nightmare 50. I'm honestly enraged. My rage level is like 9,000. Uh, mm, you have no idea. You have no idea. You, probably, you might have some idea, but hopefully, what I hear is next week is supposed to jump to Chinese New Year, so it won't be super boring, terrible week of nothing that normally follows the casino week, so... If that's true, and if Aspen gets thrown into the relic shop in that week, what it means is we can 9-star here. We can 9-star here. We can E1 Aspen directly. Now, if I wanted to throw away Flame Strike, we could also do that. But I don't know about that. I'm still, I'm holding on to Flame Strike for now just in case. But hopefully, Aspen, when he gets enabled up, will be obviously much more tanky. I mean, what is he naked right now? 694,000 health. That's not a lot of health. And when he goes up to 10 star, because he got the buff, he has 716,000 base health at 10 star now. So 
Going to 10 is going to be a massive difference. I haven't 10 starred anything since the update, so I haven't like got to see that humongous jump in stats, and I'm actually kind of excited to see it. Um, but the problem is we're a little bit held up on food. Not much. I mean, we're close. We've got one. <laughs> one out of six. But we've got two dark heroes in the bag, which would be four out of six. I can fuse one up. That would be five out of six. And also, I could buy one. That would be six out of six. We could actually 10-star Aspen, like, right now. Right? Yes, one, two, that'd be three. Right, right, follow me. Three. We've got the one we could fuse before. I must have math wrong. Okay, everybody calm down. We have one right now. Two in the bag is three. One we could fuse would be four, right? And then one we could buy from the altar would be five. So, yeah, we're still one short. We're still one short. Not a huge deal. What I've kind of been trying to do is kind of waiting on the wishing well to get uh, some dark four-star shards on the wheel. And so far, no luck. No luck with that noise, which is a little bit sad. Um, the super wishing fountain, what do we got on here? Valkyrie. Get out of here with that crap. Ooh, a Sigmund. I don't need Sigmund, but I need those. Oh, the other day. Psst, by the way, just BT dubs. You might have noticed there's a scary in my bag. I spun 10 on the wheel just because there was dark hero shards and a scary, and I was like, eh, why not? We'll see what we can get. And I got him. I actually pulled the scary off the wheel. So we are at an E1 scary, potentially. Now, he was nerfed a little bit with the last update to enables, giving everybody Nate crit reduction, um, which does kind of stink a little bit for old scary. But it shouldn't make any difference in his PvE damage. He still should be an absolute freak there. In PvP, maybe not so much. I just, I want to build so much stuff, it just takes so much time. That's what bugs me, is that all the time it takes, and the fact that we keep sucking in things like the Aspen is just not helping my mood. It really isn't helping. Ah. Mm, woosa. Woosa. But, I think that's me up for today, guys. We, uh, we, uh, still so mad. Cthulhu, <laughs> why do you let me down? Mm, you know what we ought to do? We ought to enable Cthulhu. Maybe? I mean... Mm. He gets a little bit extra HP, a little bit extra attack. We could level him up a little bit more, make him a little more tanky. He gets that nice crit reduction. No, screw it. No, we're not doing it. I keep, I keep trying to look for little bitty power boosts in between crap because I keep sucking and I hate it when I suck things. Ugh, mm, makes me mad. But no, we're going to leave Cthulhu E1 for now because I don't want to upgrade him yet. And we're going to take Aspen to E3 next. That's my next goal is an E3 Aspen. Hopefully we can do it. If I have to disassemble my Cthulhu, I might. And here's why. Here's what I was doing. Okay, so I've been, I've been mathing around my damage, and the Cthulhu's I see deal the most damage are obviously Cthulhu's paired with Valkyrie, because Valkyrie has just absolute stupid levels of burn damage, especially now that she got buffed, which is just stupid anyways. But she's up to like 7 point something million HP now, 7.2 or something dumb. So her burns do a ton of damage. If you have Cthulhu paired with that, Cthulhu bursts those burns and does a lot of damage. However, in my team, Flame Strike's burns are not that big. Um, her skills just don't drop big burns. Her active skills, like a 50% burn at 10 star and a 25% burn on her, you know, at the end of each round. So her burn dots aren't huge. Horus has bleed dots, which aren't terrible. I mean, they're not bad bleed dots, but they're nothing compared to... Uh, you know, to, to Valkyrie, there just there is not. Because there's not a lot of really heavy damage over time units, I mean, there's Shia, who has pretty heavy bleed damage, uh, but I'm not going to build her, I already got one built. It's making me second-guess Cthulhu. Now, I know he's good against Valkyrie, and that's the only reason he's still in my team at all. If he, if he wasn't good against Valkyrie, the way he's been performing, I'd probably drop him and just use him as food and regress him and get his fodder, and then I could upgrade my Aspen to E3, which was kind of the idea that I was going on there, but uh, I'm going to have to keep him because everybody and their brother runs Valkyrie. Let's just take a gander. Let's take a gander at the top people. We got a Valkyrie. What's Tanberry rocking? Has he got a Valkyrie? He's got a 10-star Valkyrie. Still counts. It counts. Somnia, got a Valkyrie. Lapis, got a Valkyrie. What's Kermit rocking? Let me guess. It's a Valkyrie. Jelmer? <gasps> Look at Jelmer breaking the norm. He's still got a Valkyrie. So, I mean, he's not totally off the hook, but at least it's not 10 star yet. Tim? No Valkyrie. Look at that, my boy, Tim. Like a pro. Valve. Valve's rocking the Valk. Yogg's rocking the Valk. 
Everybody in there, bro. This guy's got a 10-star Aspen. What is going on with that? E1 Bade. Talk about a meta breaker. He's going places. Um, but yeah, Valkyrie's just absolutely everywhere, and it's super annoying, especially after she got buffed. Before she got buffed, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like, you could kind of deal with them most of the time. But now that she got to the point where she's doing even more damage, it's like, I don't know what the devs were thinking, but apparently they weren't. Anyways, whatever. So since Valkyrie's everywhere, I've got to build to counter her, because I'm not going to build her again. I just absolutely hate everything about her. Because everybody uses one, it just annoys me. I just want to get rid of my one on the main account, or like build her for attack or something stupid. <laughs> But I've got to keep, I've got to keep Cthulhu. And I just, I don't know, like, he's so mediocre in the other areas of the game. Like, his only real job is to defensively counter Valkyrie because he can't kill her offensively, which still kind of sucks. And like, his, that's his only job. The only reason he's really on my team is for that purpose. He sucks against bosses. He sucks really in the Aspen dungeon right now. Hopefully when he gets to E3, he'll be better. Um, but man, he just, not really diverse. And that's kind of my biggest issue with him. He's not a very diverse unit. He's really only for PvP, and, I mean, you can't get rid of him because Valkyries are everywhere, so I don't know. It's just one of those things, kind of stuck with old Thuga for now. Hopefully, we'll get some other stuff going soon, though. E3 Aspen, you know, God forbid, it should change things for me with his na nasty, nasty burst damage. Tight, we better get you, um, <laughs> unnaked. Better not leave you naked for long, but hopefully that big HP damage he has will help kick in the Horrify, um, maybe... You know, we'll see. Hopefully it helps me counter Valkyries as well, having another big burst unit behind that. Um, having E3, he might work pretty well in the Aspen Dungeon too, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure, smash that thumbs up button and show your support if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well, and tell your friends about it, because that definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.